We could get a third of the way to our climate change goals with no technology at all. Restoring the world's ecosystems could make it happen. The Earth knows how to regulate itself. It has maintained a balance that has sustained life for billions of years. But by destroying whole ecosystems, humans have tipped that balance, causing atmospheric CO2 levels to be higher now than in the last three million years. Restoring those ecosystems and the species that live within them could bring the Earth back into balance. Here are three natural strategies that can have a big impact. Restoring forests. Humans have already cut down half the world's trees. Trees breathe in carbon and store it safely away where it can't heat the earth. Old forests are invaluable. Their strength and size allow them to withstand wildfires and other climate fuel disasters. We need to stop the large-scale deforestation caused by large-scale cattle ranching, palm oil plantations, and commercial timber, and bring these lands back to their natural state before it's too late. When a forest is lost anywhere, people feel it everywhere. Protecting wildlife. We are now in the midst of the sixth great extinction event. Billions of animal populations have been killed. Since 1970, the global human population has doubled, but humans have destroyed 83% of other wild mammals. This is dire because animals are nature's first defenders. Mega herbivores like elephants and tapirs spread the seeds of trees that can store the most carbon. When wolves disappeared from Yellowstone for 70 years, elk herds made a meal out of the forest and vegetation declined. But when wolves were reintroduced, they forced the elk herds to continually move and the trees sprang back. Every being maintains a balance. Rebuilding coastal habitats. Up to 67% of mangroves, 35% of marshes, and 30% of seagrass have already been lost. If we continue on this path, we will lose up to 40% more marshes and seagrass, and mangroves could be completely wiped out in just 100 years. Though only a tiny ribbon of land, coastal habitats secure carbon 40 times faster than tropical forests. That's because they're storing carbon in the soil several meters deep and thousands of years old. When this same coastal ecosystem is drained or destroyed, the sediment layers below release the carbon from centuries past. Destroying coastal areas is the equivalent of as much as 19% of the emissions from tropical deforestation in the whole world. Revitalizing ecosystems is not a substitute for rapid decarbonization. We have to do both. To fully solve this problem, we need to push for this on a policy level. But there are plenty of ways that you can get personally involved. Volunteer to restore a wetland or a native forest area. Eat a more plant-based diet. Support the organizations aligned with natural climate solutions. Champion the UN's RED system, which helps developing countries manage and use those forests responsibly. End illegal logging by only buying wood products that carry this label. The world's living systems have been undervalued and underfunded. Humanity should give attention to nature as the forgotten solution, the oldest and wisest of them all.